How's it going, everybody? My name is MDKWLAN, otherwise known as MDK, and finally going back to Arch Linux. Today we're going to go over how to install LXDE and VirtualBox Guest Editions. Obviously, if you're actually going to install Arch to a machine, the VirtualBox Guest Editions wouldn't be needed, and you actually have to take a different route at installing your video cards. So, for example, like AMD uses, uh, I believe it's called Flexor. Flex G, blah, blah, blah. Uses the drivers, uh, th those drivers, so you suggest go looking for that. Uh, I've never installed Arch on this machine that uses an AMD video card with proprietary drivers. I've only installed it on my laptop, which is use, uses Intel, which doesn't really... I, I think they have proprietary drivers, but it's recognized by default, so it's not really that big of a deal. So anyway... Um, let's get started, I guess. So, we're going to open it directly from where we left off. Let me fix the window size here. And so, because the, I think it was about three weeks ago, two weeks ago, I made this, uh, we're going to have to do updates for this, um, mainly because the kernel has been updated. As you can see, I'm using the 3.6 kernel, and the 3.7 one is out. And that actually has problems. I'm attributing a lot of the problems I'm having to trying to make this video beforehand because of this. Um, as you can see, I have... Let's actually use a proper website. I have internet, but if I were to install LXD right, LXDE right now, I would get a lot of the an error saying that mirrors are, mirrors are not down or some, uh, mirrors are down or cannot resolve or... Four or four errors. I have internet and I can connect, but I believe it's because I'm too behind. I'm not 100% sure. So if you are installing this fresh right now and going to this video, you should be up to date with the kernel and it won't be a problem. If you're installing Arch at the same pace I am, you have to update. Um, so it's Pac Man Tech S. I do SYY. And then that resolves the, that gets all the packages, and then SYU does the updates. I'm not 100% sure that's how you're supposed to do it, but. Arch is a finicky, finicky OS. So, so Pac Man, TAC, capital S, YY, and then Pac Man, uh, capital S, YU, and this will. Yes, this is what I wanted to get, which will synchronize your host name with the core system D. And it's 50 megabytes, so it takes a little bit to download. Well, for me, it'll take a little bit. So once that's done, we can actually progress with the video. So while this was downloading, I was playing that back, and there's a little bit of stuttering in the recording itself. So I do apologize if that actually comes out in the rendering. But uh, I actually haven't used Windows 7, which is what I'm running this in, in about two or three weeks. Uh, I've been switching to Fedora, but that, that's not here nor there. Anyway, since we're downloading things, we may as well download everything at once. So we all, we have it here. So what you want to do is, you want to grab the VirtualBox Guest Editions. So normally for VirtualBox, if you want to install the Guest Editions, you do Control D or enable the, the, what is it? It's all Guest Editions, which, you know, just in initializes an ISO and you have them there. Arch is not one of them. You have to actually download the repository for them. So, back man, tack capital S and virtual V I R T U A L box hyphen guest utils. This will download. This is only 5 megs. This isn't that big. And then we will download LXDE as well. And just it took a little while to actually start and then we'll install LXD and then we'll actually start installing it, which, to be honest, it's not really that hard to install it on this. So I'll be back once this download is complete and we will, well, it's almost done. Yeah, it, it's all but done. Okay. I guess we'll we'll do this, do this now. So now that VirtualBox is installed, you want to set up a mob, mod probe to it. So mod probe tech A lowercase a, uh, vbox guest, vbox sf, and vbox video. 
and now you want to set up a config file for your virtual box so um, I'm gonna use nano because I really don't care for vi or vim and I'm probably gonna get shit for that but I really don't care for it so nano uh, we're gonna put this in Etsy modules modules hyphen load dot d and we're gonna call it virtual virtual uh, box dot conf so virtualbox conf and within here we're gonna we're gonna type exactly the same thing that we just did so vbox guest vbox vbox sf and vbox video and we're gonna hit control x well if you're in nano press control x press y to save it and then press enter to write it and then that's enabled and virtualbox should be pretty much enabled for you uh... so now we're gonna download lxde so that's pacman Tack capital S LXDE. I'm using LXDE because of that file size. You can do GNOME 3, you could do KDE, you could do ICE Window Manager, GNOME Fallback Session. You can pick anything. I think there's even a Unity for Arch if you like Unity. There, the sky's the limit when it comes to desktop environments. You're not limited by your operating system when it comes to. Uh, desktop environments and the same even applies to open and free BSD uh, pretty much there's always a package for any Windows manager any desktop environment that you want so I'm gonna be back once this is done downloading and I shall see you then it's just about done here so we'll resume it's all it's 112 packages and merge is pretty fast with it um, to those that care, I've uh, finally switched away from Ubuntu because uh, I'm back from winter break from my uh, college. And I switched to Fedora mainly because we're going to be doing a lot of, uh, you know, I'm going to be doing my Linux Plus stuff, which is RPM and Yum. So I may as well go to Fedora. Everything in there is going to be about Red Hat. So now that Pac Man is enabled here, or Pac Man is enabled. Now that we download LXDE, we can just use the basic systemd command to initiate it. So we can do system control ctl enable LXDM, which is Linux, I mean, uh, LXDE's display manager. Uh, LXDE, yeah, LXDM dot service, and then it sets a sim link. Now we can reboot. And this should have worked. So you get the same menu. Because that's that's this Linux. I was gonna say grub, but it it's not grub. You got a fail thing, that's something with the kernel modules. Uh, I think that might be something with three point seven, but as you can see here, once it loads all the way, we have LXDE, so the only user you have right now is root, which I'm going to do that next video on how to add another user because you shouldn't be using root. But yeah, you have your desktop environment. So, I mean, right now you don't have any browsers or you really don't have any uh, programs. But uh, you can launch a terminal. Um, I don't know, Pac-Man, TAC-S, Firefox, and you can just download it and, you know, use it till your heart's content. So that's how you install LXDE to Arch Linux. I'm probably not going to bother sh uh, showing how to do GNOME or any other thing. Um, unless I get requests. I mean, I got like four or five people asking me how to how to do this. So, I don't know. Um, probably next video we're going to go over how to install sudo and uh, adding another user. Which is fairly simple. But until next time... That's pretty much how you install LXDE in VirtualBox Guest Editions. Um, if you have any requests for videos or requests for anything that you need help installing, please let me know. I will either try to answer you or once I do figure it out, I'll let you know and probably make a video about it. I do know uh, in my Java one there are people having problems getting Java enabled on Chrome. Now personally I don't use Chrome but um, I'll try to figure out what that problem is exactly. So once I get that figured out, I'll make a video about that. 
But until next time, guys, leave suggestions down in the comments or message me, either way. And be sure to check out the subreddit Linux for Noobs as well as Unixborn. See you guys. Have a good one.